And the trade war with China is turning into a big problem for some small business owners. Kate Rogers talked to one who's trying to navigate the growing tensions. Sandra Payne says she held out for as long as possible before raising prices. But the president of Denver Concrete Vibrator, which makes equipment for infrastructure projects, had no choice. A modest price hike became necessary when tariffs hit her vendors, who import items including steel, making prices volatile and increasing costs. We waited a long time to increase prices. Um, we finally did, had a small increase recently, um, but that still won't cover what we expect in the coming months or years. Payne says she hasn't had to cut any of her staff and hopes she never has to. But she acknowledges margins will be squeezed in this uncertain environment. The National Federation of Independent Business says more than one third of small business owners have reported somewhat or significant negative impacts as a result of recent trade policy changes with Mexico, Canada or China. A coalition of more than 600 companies sent a letter to President Trump Thursday urging him to resolve the ongoing trade dispute, arguing tariffs are hurting businesses and consumers alike. Payne says she's bracing for more price instability. A recent notice from one of her vendors said prices and availability of certain metals are subject to change daily, making planning a challenge. In many cases, it's increased by 10 or 12 percent. Um, we've been warned, though, by some of our vendors that um, it will be seeing 20 or 25 percent increases with our next orders. For Payne, the message is clear. Tariffs are doing more harm than good for her small business. You know, I Every, for years, I've been hearing that manufacturing is lost in America, and yet there are thousands of manufacturing companies just like this one um, out there in the country trying to make things for domestic and, and for import or export. Um, so I, I think it's going to hurt us very badly. While the trade war continues on, an anxious Main Street will be watching. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers.